Good afternoon and welcome to Playtesting Made Easy on Stadia. My name is Ryan Bartley and I'm a product manager on Stadia focused on the developer experience. Today we're going to cover a few topics related to Stadia and playtesting. Namely, a set of features we conceptually think of as develop anywhere, collaborate everywhere. These provide really the basis of scalable data and insight that we'll talk about today. Next, we'll dive into how these features and others can be used to automatically and efficiently scale your development and playtesting efforts. And finally, how partners can utilize a new tool called Channels to find the fun with any Stadia player at any stage of development. First, let's have a quick recap of what brought us to this point. One of the most exciting things about Stadia is the ease with which a player can pick up devices they own and play hundreds of great games wherever Stadia is offered. But we had a ways to go bringing that same level of comfort and ease to our developers and publishers. During launch, we heard from partners that there were a few consistent challenges they faced when bringing content to the platform. Really quickly, much of our tooling was centered around the command line and required knowledge of Linux to do simple tasks. Next, our infrastructure and the development paradigms it supported were new and, and somewhat difficult to utilize to its full potential. And then finally, those same configurations that made it so easy to open up your phone or a computer and start playing games on Stadia required a significant amount of configuration during the development phase, which made iteration, testing, and publishing difficult. At the same time, we also started seeing some really positive signals from several teams, both big and small, that our distributed cloud infrastructure became a huge asset to their team especially at a time when development from home was becoming increasingly common. Ubisoft and Bungie in particular noted how much this freedom to test and iterate meant to their own operations. Let's take a quick look at a concept called packages that really unlocked a lot of the distributed power our partners were able to utilize at this time to build a better understanding of how this provides the basis for the improvements we'll discuss in the next section. Packages are overall a pretty simple concept. Briefly, it's a blob of the full set of art, assets, and binary your game produces during a build and cook session. But the real power comes from the fact that the content is securely distributed automatically throughout your team's cloud instances, meaning that once the package is processed, its content is immediately available for your team to begin playing. There's no downloads or transfers needed. This unlocks a ton of possibilities that we'll talk about soon, as it removes so much of the time spent updating or downloading new content. So we knew we had something special to offer, and by focusing on the simplicity of the player experience, utilizing our distributed cloud infrastructure, and leaning into what already made development on Stadia so special, we could make a lot of improvements across a wide spectrum of user journeys. To detail those improvements, First, we knew we had to unify the development and iteration flows around a central set of tools, allowing users to focus on what they needed to do rather than which tool to use. Next, we sought to reduce or even remove many of the configuration barriers that were currently present, further reducing the need of specialists. As a part of this as well, we automated the collection and presentation of the most important data users required to do their job further eliminating the need to know Linux or low-level tooling. And finally, we knew the ability to immediately collaborate with everyone on the team made packages really special. So we ensured that wherever possible, we were increasing our partner's ability to share and collaborate. These design fundamentals led to a concept of development and playtesting we call Develop Anywhere, Collaborate Everywhere. This concept ties together a set of features into a unified flow, which enables users to jump right in and easily iterate on content, while also making the data produced by that content widely shareable throughout the team. Briefly, Launch Anywhere allows users to launch their game to any Stadia client with a click of a button. So even if you're on a PC, say, and need to test what it's like to play the game on iOS, you can do that. Test Hub then offers an endpoint agnostic set of tools and controls for your live game, as well as providing a unified view into both live and historic game runs, 
a feature that makes real-time statistics, logs, and artifacts easily available to your entire team to help increase the overall context of issues you might encounter while developing and testing. And then finally, Channels opens up the possibility to amplify your content to a secure, moderated list of players anywhere Stadia is available. Now let's briefly step through each of these components in a little bit more detail to get a better idea how they all fit together into helping your team scale their efforts. Launch Anywhere allows you to quickly, easily test your game on any Stadia player endpoint. With a single selection, users can launch their game directly from the Partner Portal, CLI, or Visual Studio, whichever tool they use most, to their player endpoint of choice. Reducing this friction enables your team to have a better understanding of the full player experience. It's also particularly useful during work from home since testers or developers can simply log into their own Chromecast or Android device and begin securely playing last night's build immediately. Now, once your game is launched, Test Hub comes to life, creating a unified view where you can control or monitor all your most important game run details. When the game is live, you'll receive real-time data directly from the instance, including several performance statistics and stream logs. When you finish playing your game, Test Hub switches to the Game Runs view, presenting you with all of your captured data, logs, and analysis. This view organizes all your most important artifacts like logs and captures, and makes all of this data easily and securely shareable across your team. This set of artifacts is also easily expandable. If the information you need isn't captured, simply upload it, and it's available to everyone who might need it. This allows your teammates to jump into an issue with all the context they might need to quickly solve it. Building out Test Hub to represent both live and historical game run data in this centralized view makes it easier for any user to quickly find the information or control they might need to do their job. Now, finally, Channels expands on your ability to securely distribute and share access to your games and new content within a process that is entirely controlled by you. This allows you to expand your alpha and beta tests far beyond your normal friends and family, regardless of what phase of development you're in. This allows you to also even expand the audience to internal QA and press before you release your game. All right, now that we've talked about all these features, let's see them in action and how they can scale your playtesting efforts. First, we'll start at the command line. In most cases, Teams are producing new content daily, either as a part of design, art, or updates to game functionality and binary. As we just spoke, packages really allow your team the ability to scale internal processes significantly by amortizing the time it takes for your team to access that daily content. Now to do this efficiently, Stadia allows you to create what we call a test account and give it the build role inside your project. This will allow you to script and automate the upload process alongside any of your build and cook jobs. Setting this automation up is an integral first step in unlocking the power of Develop Anywhere Collaborate Everywhere because it enables a consistent flow of content and as you'll see, empowers teams to scale dramatically. Once the package is processed, it's now available to your entire team wherever they're developing. This access really opens up some exciting possibilities for your testing team in particular. So let's focus in on them for a second. Now, in this case, testers could be QA, or they could also be producers or release managers or even executives, anyone who just really needs access to the content to get a better idea of where things are at. Now, because of the unification around cloud native features like Launch Anywhere and Test Hub, we made it so that testers, in this case, don't even need to download an SDK to play and test their daily builds. The tester could simply access the partner portal from their phone using their developer account, execute a launch, and begin playing the build instantly using either their Chromecast or even the same phone they executed the launch from. But what about the data from those tests? Well, like we said earlier, Game Runs captures much of the data your game produces in real time and makes that data available to your whole team in the same way your package is available. This allows you the ability to monitor and control the game while it's live and share and collaborate on that data after it's over immediately. Let's say you hit a problem in your game or you just want to try out some new functionality. 
After you've finished, you can quickly share the data you've created with your team, giving them the context they need to jump in and understand things quickly. This same type of sharing works for certification as well. Now, every test result from certification comes with an accompanying set of game runs and artifacts that were produced during the test. We believe this will help teams find and fix issues more efficiently. And the best thing is as we continue to add new artifacts and functionality like crash dumps and tooling uh, captures, they'll all be available to your team immediately. You won't need to learn new tools or teach new user journeys. But what about developers and designers? Users that really need to change parts of the package um, or iterate with deeper control of the game. Packages also support their workflows as well. Stadia has created several ways to empower asset iteration while also utilizing the scale distribution and access of the package. These users can simply mount the particular package to their instance and then use overlay functionality to update specific parts of the package, such as binary, shaders, or art. And there are a few different ways they can do this. Users could manually copy the full assets, like a new binary or texture directly to the instance. They can also copy a diff of the original asset if only certain parts of the asset have changed. And then finally, they can mark a particular asset as changing, which will then cause a partial stream of the parts of the asset that are used by the instance. Each type of iteration empowers users to choose what's best for them in the particular circumstance. This ability to only upload diffs extends even to packages as well. And utilizing this in your automated or manual uploads will increase your package iteration efficiency even more, decreasing overall upload times and making your packages available to your team even faster. Another growing piece of the playtesting puzzle is automation. And Stadia helps make this easier as well. The test account that's used to upload the build can also be utilized to launch the package when it's finished processing by using a headless client for the execution of the actual game. The automation can then gather up any and all data produced on the instance to make available later. To do this, the build account will create another test account using the CLI and then launch the game with that test account, along with any configurations necessary to kick off the automation. Since the client is also headless, all of this can take place on the command line along with all of your build and upload automation. You could also use this to get a quick lights on test of your game to make sure there are no problems with the build before your team gets in to test in the morning. Once the game is launched, you can monitor the game using your regular CLI automation tools like SSH or SCP, and soon you'll be able to use the CLI to grab the latest historical run to help others jump into all the game run data available. All of the things that I've just talked about can scale along with your team's needs. Getting ready for a release, need more help on a particular issue you found, or maybe you want to move more of your team to utilize playtesting on Stadia. All you have to do is reach out to our support team and we can give you the resources you need to be successful. This is a great segue to another very exciting feature that can help securely expand your playtesting efforts beyond your team channels. To be a bit more specific, channels utilizes the same safe and immediate access model that makes packages so useful to your team, but widens the scope of available user bases beyond your team to anyone or anywhere Stadia is available. All that player needs is a free Stadia account and you can make your game available to them with just a few clicks. Let's take a look at another key feature which makes channels so exciting. Normal testing with alpha and beta users could cause players to download several enormous builds to test different functionality after the game is made available. But using both the same diffing mechanism that's available to your team with packages and the fact that Stadia doesn't require downloads or updates, any changes you make are immediately available to your moderated audience. This should allow your team to make updates when necessary rather than collecting things up over time. We believe that with the features and processes we've shared thus far, 
Your team should be able to scale their development and playtesting efforts, but we're not finished. There are several exciting ways we plan to continue growing this functionality over the coming months and quarters. For instance, saving project level configurations and automatically reserving instances should help reduce the overhead even more for your testing team, as well as the ability to search game runs and access them from the CLI. And finally, we want to add several new artifacts such as crash dumps and tool captures to the arsenal of game runs data. By removing the previous barriers around how, where, and when you can test your content, the Develop Anywhere, Collaborate Everywhere set of features will empower your team's overall efficiency and ability to scale, making it easier to develop your game. Please apply at stadia.dev to learn more and to begin using these features today. Thank you so much for your time.